hello guys welcome to the channel and today we're going to be solving this trigonometric equation this is a very beautiful equation so um let's get started then well um i'm going to make a substitution well i'm going to say sine x is equal a and cosine x is equal b so we know that to solve these kind of problems um trigonometric equation we have to consider this um this condition well and if we're making this substitution so we're going to have that minus 1 is less o uh, equals a and this is less o equal to uh, 1 and uh, also the same for b which is cosine x right and then from here then I'm gonna square both sides here and then I'm gonna have this one well squaring both sides and I'm gonna add side by side I'm gonna have then here sine square plus cosine square equals a square plus b square we know that cosine sine square x plus cosine square of whatever angle that we have this is going to be one so a square plus b square is, is this is equal one well um then we have this right so we're saying that the sine is a and uh, cosine is b so we have this one here so now i'm going to write this this way a square b square B a square to the five, b square to the five, right? And then we know that from we have to writing this 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 expression here. This is like something we all know, right? So and then we're just going to try to rewrite this one uh, according to this, right? So so x is is a square and y is b square, right? So we just have to replace this here, and then we're gonna have here right because a is square well in every place we have uh in every, in every place here we have we have we have to multiply the power by two that's why we're gonna have here eight six four and so on so now this one here we can write this as this one so i'm gonna pick this one and this one here and i'm gonna complete this square okay and then we're gonna factor out these two and this one here and this one here this is all just a matter of completing the square there are so many ways you could you could uh, probably uh, follow to solve this right so from here then I have that to complete this square I'm gonna have this one here is equal to this right and then this one and this one I'm gonna factor out a square b square and a to the 4 b to the 4 and uh, uh, I know what is a square plus b square, but I'm gonna keep writing this and I'm gonna let to the end to replace um, uh, Just for one, one time, okay, so now I'm going to complete again this square and this square here. So from here uh, You know, sorry, um, I'm going then to this one here Plus this one here. We're gonna have this one here right so now I can complete this this square here inside the, the brackets here so now completing this square we're gonna have this which is the same thing as this one here and then we know that a square plus b square is equal to 1 so we're gonna replace them here and then we have this right just replacing one here and one here and here and then we have this so this is one multiplying this we're gonna have this and then this is one minus to a square b squared square minus this one and then this one here this minus this one right um, very very um, beautiful here so what we're gonna do now is um, just going to take this power then we're gonna have this this power this one here is equal to this and this one here multiplying by this is equal to this so organizing these terms here you see that this is one right um four minus one is three three plus two is five so five a to the four b to the four and then we're gonna have this one here minus this one here we're gonna have minus five a square b square plus one and i'm gonna bring this one here to this side so this is gonna be zero and then um so from here we have this right coming the denominator for just for this two here and then I'm gonna divide the, uh, both sides by five here, and then I'm gonna have this one here. So this is a B quadratic equation, right? In terms of AB, 
right so i'm gonna have here a b1 is equal to plus or minus square root of 15 divided by 2 and a b2 is equal to um, um uh, a b3 4 is equal to plus or minus uh, 1 over 4 and then from here uh, we know these conditions right so we said this in the beginning we have to remember this and then uh, this we said saying this we said this and then we said this as you can see here we're not going to take this one because from here we're going to have imaginary solutions this is not what we're looking for and then according to our condition um, these values of a and b square root of 15 over 2 positive this is greater than 1 right and this this not this does not attend our our condition and as well um, um let me see here okay that, that that's it so the only value for a b that will uh satisfy our condition is this one here right so then from here we're gonna say that a b is is equal to plus or minus one over four and then from here uh, I'm gonna multiply here by side by side here I'm gonna have sine sine x cosine x equals a b right uh, multiplying by 2 here and dividing by 2 I have this and we know that this is sine of 2x right divided by 2 and a b is this one here so we're gonna replace this one here and then um, simplifying both multiplying both sides by 2 here we are going to have that sine of 2x is equal to plus or minus a half and then from here we're gonna have this sine 2x a half negative a half and then we know that 2x then here one half we're gonna have pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 plus 2 and pi and then from here the negative we're gonna have this one here right so continuing we're gonna have this one and then dividing both sides by 2 we're gonna have x equals pi over 12 plus n pi and then here 5 pi over 12 plus n pi where n belongs to the integers and then here guys for the second one here we're gonna have this and just dividing all by uh, both sides by by 2 we're gonna have this one here so guys and where n belongs to the integers uh, so for this problem then sine to the 10x plus cosine to the 10x equals 181 over 256 the solution the general solutions for this problem are this one here so x can be this one this one this one and this one and just a matter of choosing the right interval that you want to solve it and then uh, where n belongs to the integers right and this is the solution please don't forget to subscribe to the channel let me know in the comment uh, what you think about the way I used to solve this problem please subscribe see you next video bye bye